Hi, my name is Cindy Ring. I'm Brianna Motzkis, and today is Fabric Chat. Good morning. Hi. So, off of our three day weekend, yes. you went off and had fun. I stayed and worked. She said yes. We went camping again. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all right. Mom plays favorites, I think. But, uh, plays, yeah. <laughs> I'm not in favor of yourself, though. <laughs> I know. Why don't I get to go anywhere? Yeah. I had to stay home from Mexico. I had to stay home from camping. Right? Um, we went up to, um, Lake Roosevelt. We stayed at the Keller Ferry, um, RV park. Um, I had never seen Lake Roosevelt so low before. Oh, um, Nathan was saying it was like 30 feet, um, below whatever. Cause you can see like the line where it usually sits and it was so low. Um, and it's only, I mean, it's not even junior. My guess is, um, it's going to be probably another 10 feet or so before the summer's over. I would assume. I mean, it's only going to get hotter from here. Um, they were saying there were some campgrounds close or maybe lining Lake Roosevelt that usually have, um, full hookups, they were not hooking up the water so that they, you know, could so preserve whatever is on Roosevelt. Water. Yeah. So you can get power, but you couldn't have, um, your camper hooked up for regular water, which was, I think it was appropriate. I don't yeah. think that should surprise anybody. Um, mm -hmm. and they have free freshwater hookups and stuff. So if I mean, if you did have to go fill up some 40 gallon jugs or whatever, it wouldn't be mm -hmm. the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, the kids thought it was because we were in a private like group site, so it was just us in that little area, which was really really nice. But it looked like the water was just oh, you know, just a little bit down. But it was so hilly mm -hmm. that it was quite some walk. Um, but it was crazy all of the rocks and everything that of course is under all of the water. But mm -hmm. the kids loved it going for a walk with anybody down there. And we found little shells and so it was and golf balls. Tons of golf balls. Hmm. And of course that was why it's big hunt was for Finding golf balls. balls. Yeah. You know, what, you know what the balls are? You know it's birds, right? Yeah. Do you trying know to crack them open. Yeah. The the crows or uh -huh. I don't know if it's crows or who it is, but um, they steal the bird the the golf balls and then they drop them. Thinking they're an egg. Thinking they're an egg. Yeah. And then they don't break. But so they yeah, steal we them. found tons of them. Some of them that may yeah. have been pretty new and some that have been there a while. Sure. But because I had asked him, is there like yeah. a golf course or a mini whatever yeah. close by or whatever? And he's like, well, I don't know. And I told him, well, when Judy owned um, Star yeah, we Stripes. had a friend that had a. Yeah, she had a, a driving range and she had to put this net up not to keep the golf balls in, but keep to keep the birds, the birds out. out. Yeah. Because they would steal the balls. Yeah. And Funny then they'd thing. pay us a nickel. Was it a nickel? It was a I penny. Was a, nick, a penny a ball. A, a penny, penny a ball. ball. We'd go out, get our buckets, and um, for every ball we found outside the netting because of the birds that stole them before they put the net. And broke them. Tried to break them. Yeah. And they didn't break. Yeah. Nope. Too funny. They had a really good time. Lots of good. sand. Sand everywhere. We borrowed a friend's camper, and so it was good. Good. They played really hard. Didn't and they were <laughs> glad to come home and actually soak in the tub, get all the dirt off. I think so. I don't think they were at first, you know, um, but they were. They enjoyed um, a real bath because we did take a bath one day, but you know, just to make sure we had enough water. It was just like this little two inch. It was nice and warm, but like Harper's like, uh, where are the toys? <laughs> I was like, no, there is barely room for you. I'm accustomed to. Yeah. And she's like, where's all the water? <laughs> no, we can't use no. all the water. No. So yeah, we got home and we unpacked everything. They helped put things away, played with the dogs, the cat. So Phoebe missed them so much. It's crazy. Um, wouldn't leave them alone. But um, yeah, they had to be home and take a bath with lots of water and toys. And yes. they spent a long time in there. And then. Got all of the grime off their fingers and toes and. And those. how are your chickens now? Your chickens are. They are big. Um, they are really big. So of course Robert and I have never raised chickens before. Robert used to do sheep for fair um, and 4-H and stuff. And, and Brianna was horses. horses. So I mean, we're not used to small livestock. Mm. So I've been getting information from Tracy, who actually used to be this huge like chicken breeder, chicken mama. So she she gives us a lot of information. I'm gonna start calling her that. The, the chicken, chicken mama. mama. <laughs> so um they're really good. They're actually really nice. So we did have, you know, um 
a Karen chicken who was nasty and, well, she was nice to me, but she would chase Robert. She would, like, go right for him um, and fluff up her feathers and get all, she's not a rooster. We were all wondering. Yeah, like, because super mean. Yeah, and only one. Protective. So we would wonder, like, okay, if it's a rooster, it totally makes sense, but mm -hmm. she's definitely not turning into a rooster. Mm -hmm. But we have started, when we get home, we open the whole cage up. So they can go out of the cage, go to the tree line, um, do all these things, and she's totally chilled out. Hmm. Maybe she just thought she wasn't meant to be caged. Hmm. I don't know. And then Free when it gets dark, they go into the, or if they get scared, they go into their cage, even the door is open, but they go in there. Um, and when it gets dark, they go in their house and we go in and Free shut everything and shut up. Them up to keep them. Yeah. So they oh. really like getting a little, I mean, they don't get very far. Yeah. Which is probably but, okay. Yeah. And I think, and they're still kind of, I mean, they're not like a, those really fluffy mama hens yet. Yeah. They're still pretty scrawny and stuff, but, um, they're pretty fun to watch, mm. though. I loved when Lutz's chickens would come over underneath yeah. the apple tree. <laughs> I just loved watching them. Yeah. Just cackle and talk and, you know. And the chickens seem to, um, Benelli sits out there and watches them. Um, and they like Benelli. Which is nice because no one likes Benelli. No, Benelli's a hag and a half. But <laughs> she, is she is a nasty dog. So bossy. But it's that uh, good because they, Janie and Nathan took Bella their little two and a bit puppy with them and it's like oh we should have brought Benelli. Benelli would have taught her a few things you know because Benelli won't let anything go nothing no she is just on it if you, you Benelli know. is the play police if anybody is yeah. playing chasing a ball tug Over. of war mm -mm. she's on it and you need to stop doing it right now <laughs> because no yeah. yeah she's she'll puff up her and she's like half blind can't hear out of an ear and yeah, Two, I mean, she's a big old roly poly, so it's pretty funny. Yeah. But yeah, she's not nice. But the chickens. It's nice that the chickens love her. Maybe because they know she can't move very fast and hmm. she yeah. probably smells to high heaven. She's an outside dog, so I don't know. And Ruger, he's just concerned that the chickens are out. Yeah, because he's, he's a healer. concerned about everything. So he probably has instinct that they need to go home, but you know, he also, I think, would feel bad if he lost a chicken. He would, yeah, on his watch. Yeah. No one. No one gets out. Chicken. Yeah. yeah, that's so, probably true. They're good. He's probably constantly counting them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I lost a black one. Where did the other one go? <laughs> we have one chicken who she's she's a big chicken. She's always the last one out of the house, the last one out of the cage, the first one back in the cage in case the wind <laughs> picks up just a little bit. Woo! <laughs> She's also the one that if she loses sight of the oh, others... Oh, so by big chicken, you mean she's a big She's a scaredy cat. cat. Yeah. Oh, I think that she's a big chicken. Oh, no. like, why'd she get so big? She's the scaredy oh. cat. Oh, she's, she's a big chicken chicken. Chicken chicken. Yeah. Oh. If she loses sight of them, she will, like, ah. like chicken scream. <laughs> like, it's, what is wrong with this damn chicken? Did Tika get the chicken? No, she what, just can't. What does that mean? I've never heard a chicken scream. I don't know. It's like a high pitched. They try to buck, but it's extended. And it's like high pitched. I should record it. Sometime. Oh, I'd like to hear yeah, that. It's so funny. It's like, honey, she's just they're just inside. It's dark outside, so they're inside. <laughs> oh yeah. Where'd they go? Oh. Yeah. She's always the hilarious. she's always the one straggler. That's the He's last a chicken one. That thought this guy was falling. Chicken little. Oh, chicken little. Yeah. Do we chicken little? Yeah. Oh. Ours is the. Is a little black guy. I don't remember what we got three different varieties. varieties, and I cannot remember. We have one that's like a golden, you know, the color of Lizzie. Ones that are a little more lighter, more yellow, and then these black speckled ones. And mm. are scary cat they start black laying eggs. And we're thinking probably by the time we get back from the Mediterranean, maybe. they should be old enough to maybe start. I don't know. I don't know. Exciting. We looked it up, but it, they have to be like six to eight, somewhere between six to eight months old or something. Oh. So we Gosh, have. That's like young. Yeah. To be popping out eggs. So we have all the little roosts set and everything, but um, we don't huh. think probably until late summer hmm. they might start. But well, we're not exciting. Anyway. They're still pretty fun. Yeah. Because I was thinking as I was watering the garden last night and thinking, oh man, I have all these green strawberries. I'm going to have this bumper crop right when we're gone. For Rosalie. Rosalie's going <laughs> to. Eat all my strawberries. Yeah. Either her or those damn robins. Ugh. Or they're acting like they're hunting for worms. Yeah, uh -huh. we know. Yeah, I know what you're doing yeah. over there. I can <laughs> see you from my window. <laughs> Get out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so, because I think this is, is this our last, this is our last regular 
Well, we might have to do chat. one more because on the eighth we're flying the whole day. On Tuesday. On Tuesday, we're flying all day. Oh yeah, because we arrive. We're leaving your house at 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. Right. And then we're going to get to Pasco, and then we. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to try to um, post them at the same time, 8.30 mm -hmm. Pacific time, Wednesday morning. So what we're going to do is we're going to do on the road fabric chats. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I guess we'll have to figure out, we could even put together a little compilation of, you know, yeah, at the airport them. and getting ready to go and, you know, whatever. So, because we have a lot planned and we, and in fact, I think that we're going to post more than just the fabric chat. Thing. We'll do um, a bunch of things. There is actually a fabric store in Venice that we're going to go to. Awesome. Um, there is. We've been looking and searching, and so we have a bunch of them we're going to go find. Knitting is a huge thing over there. Oh, yeah, you can find Love yarn it. everywhere. Um, and so I guess I'll have to bring knitting now, because otherwise <laughs> I'll be buying some stupid <laughs> knitting needles and coming home with knitting needles again. So, um, so we'll um, get permission, I'm sure, to be able to go through and... And we'll show you what we're doing. And um, so we'll post those sorts of things and and keep you informed. And like I said, I, I think that it will be far more than just the Wednesday morning ones. Yeah. And that'll be easier than filling you all in after we get back. Because we're going to be gone for two and a half weeks. It's a long time. I, yeah, a super long time. But i um, super excited about everybody that's going to be here while we're gone. So um, the box openings are going to occur at the same time, mm -hmm. Wednesdays mm -hmm. at 5 and um, Sunday afternoons at 1230. And we'll have all of your favorites plus a few new favorites. Um, we've got the Ellensburg Quilt Guild. What are they called? Sip and Stitch? I think they're called Sip and Stitch. I'm pretty sure. Um, because... They start drinking at like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> when you uh, live, <laughs> you know, know, within walking distance with your sewing machine. Is. I know, I know. And you and can walk to the grocery store. I know, I know. They, they sip while they stitch. And um, <laughs> it does not make them so better, but it makes them not care. That's okay. And that's so, okay. Um, yeah, but so they're going to come down and hang out. And they're going to help in the shop. And... Um, and so you'll meet some of them. They're excited about the uh, yeah, they are. the box openings and, and helping. And we're also going to talk to Jennifer about positioning the camera so that you can get some actual live footage. Because when we did that, gosh, it was in March, right? It was National, National Quilting, Quilting Day. Day. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of funny because everybody loved it and thought it was super fun. But the customers did not. <laughs> Nobody wanted to come in, and so. Um, but what we'll do is we'll try doing that again, and maybe do some editing, and that might be kind of a fun thing, so that you can see. Because the shop is a lot of fun, and those girls are just a blast. It's going to be Lori and mm -hmm. Becky and Debbie and um, Nancy and Karen. Okay. Yeah, are oh, all cool. coming. So it'll be really fun. And then Rosalie is. Um, I think we've mentioned this already. Those of you guys that are local will remember Rosalie Bond. She taught all of our beginning classes and taught mm -hmm. classes, lots of block of the month and um, lots of classes for us before she moved away. And so she's coming and she's going to stay at my house mm -hmm. and eat my strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, she's going to get binding. If you have binding for her to do, Ooh, bring it oh, over. I she, know. I'll look. I, I got a, I got a whole cupboard full of quilts to be quilted. Not necessarily. Do I know. I have that too. I asked her if she was interested in that. She wasn't so interested in yeah. doing my quilting for me, but binding, she was all in. Sure. And I think Tracy is going to try to con her into helping her. Oh, good. Get get one on, and because Tracy is welcome to use my um, mm -hmm. long arm, but she doesn't quite know how to get it on. Right. And get it oh my going. gosh, they should do like a little Saturday Sunday sew thing. That's what I said. Because Rosalie is so knowledgeable, and she's just one of those people that. Is such a great beginning teacher. I'm going to lend my best friends to oh. Rosalie. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what she, else is Rosalie and Deb Noah need to go walking together. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They need to do that. We'll talk to Tracy about that because, yeah, Rosalie is She's pretty fantastic. Awesome. You guys will meet her. And then um, what else will be happening? So, yeah. So, they're going to do box openings. They're going to be in the shop. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to be posting... A lot of different stuff things, abroad, stuff from abroad, and um, 
and then we'll be back. Let's see. The other thing that's happening is this week, um, tonight, um, our girls will be showing up for yeah. the flower garden retreat. That's why I'm a little crazed and why I could not go camping because I've got people oh, I sh showing I should up not have gone Wednesday. Camping either, but... No. And then, but Robert and doesn't then, care about my schedule. No. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. No, he doesn't. No. Or that I have to do your work. And he asked me he, when we were driving home. Well, did you have fun? I was like, well, I'm still really stressed. <laughs> and he's like, and well, I, just, <laughs> I, thought, yeah. I thought getting away would. No. You know, it just made me more stressed because there's all these things like instead of sitting here by the fire or playing cornhole, I needed to be doing this, this, or this, or sending these emails or not relaxing. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right? Dad's the same way. That's funny. Like, well, they, you just need this. You just need... No, I don't. I just need to finish my stuff. No. <laughs> Come and sit down. No. Yeah. I know. He comes into my star room. Are you coming to bed? No. no. <laughs> I have got to. That's what Dad said last night. It was like 10 o'clock. You coming to bed? No. Are you crazy? What, what are you thinking? <laughs> Absolutely not. I have too much to do. Right. Too much to do. Because... The retreaters leave on Sunday. Yeah. We leave and Tuesday morning. We leave Tuesday morning. Crazy. So I don't know bad. who scheduled this. It wasn't scheduled something. so bad and then we decided, well, if you're going all that way, let's spend a couple days in Rome. <laughs> well, if you're going all that way, let's spend some time in Venice. And here we are. Thirty-six hour turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it's okay. We're going to have a fantastic yes, time. Well. and All of I our just... stuff will be done before we leave. And... Mm -hmm. and whatever isn't done, you know. It's not the end of the world. Tracy will do it. Tracy, <laughs> Or Rosalie. Rosalie will get Even it done. a long list. Oh, by the way, I left a list for you. <laughs> you. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. You know, the other thing that I have to do that I cannot do with your dad at home is. Try I... close. Yes. Oh, oh I hate I it. Um, I almost have all of our laundry done because I had like two loads left, and now I have things. camping laundry um, and all of like the quilts and blankets we took because it's covered in sand. Mm -hmm. I almost have all our laundry done, and then I have to because twenty one days of clothing essentially. I know, but I'm not taking twenty one. Well, not that way. And so I feel like I'm going to splurge whatever it costs to have laundry done on the ship. I do not. That's care. what I told Robert. And so I'm going to kind of make sure that I've got a week. And that's the thing I was thinking. I always wear the same things, right? Yeah. I, I wear white shirts. I wear some lace and black <laughs> and jeans. Straight hair. That's it. Straight hair. Yeah. I don't do anything. So I feel like, how many how many white shirts do I need to bring? Right. How many black shirts? And when it gets real bad, black. you got a tie pen. And you got to sink in your bathroom. Your, you know, stay room. I know. I'm not going to. That's gonna, what I told Robert. I'm not going to bring on. I'm just going to find the things that fit me the best, and I'm going to do layers. Yep. And that's all I'm going to pack. But I still have to try some things on. And, yeah, me too. Because I, I meant to go on a diet before vacation. But I realized this morning while I was eating my it's already soft white season. bread <laughs> with peanut butter on it. Damn it! It's French toast season already. already. finish eating this. And then I better be thinking about dieting. <laughs> right? Ah. Only if you could think. I I'm know I'm exercising it. right now. I'm on a bike. <laughs> Going places <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> I'm crunching that yeah. abdomen. I know. Every time, like, even in Mexico, there was this beautiful like workout room with these beautiful windows, a beautiful view. And I just, every time I walk, look at all those healthy people. All those healthy people. Right for food. Food. <laughs> That's mm. right. Headed for snack time and a drink. I should be in there with you, but no. <laughs> just, I hear I there's croissants. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. See you at the pool. I'm proud of you. Mm. But yeah. I'll be sitting on the bench at the bar. <laughs> there at the pool. I'm not taking clothes off of this. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah it was... Damn it. Oh, well. That's what happens. It's okay. It's all right. And everybody says, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. I'm not going to. I know. I'm not going to be rocking my two-piece. <laughs> Oh, well. Anyway. But that's okay. Um, yeah, so I need to get that done. I also still need a haircut. Yeah. I don't know. Just I think bangs, at least. I know. Well, of course, I'm scissors to them. Tracy can hook you up with a little <gasps> trim trim. Tracy can do a trim trim. She mm. can hook you up. I mean, she's probably going to die or whatever. I don't think you need any of that. I bet you I don't think. I just need cut. I need it shorter. I need some layers on the side, and I need something mm -hmm. done with this. Bang shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Tracy. 
She'll hook me up. She'll hook you up. She totally. She cuts everybody's hair. I don't know. I've never asked her before. Mm -hmm. Well, did you see? You saw the picture of Eliza's hair? Do she did? Yeah, it's cute. She Eliza decided to go job. short with bangs. It's good for you. Oh, maybe she didn't do bangs. She might not have done her bangs again. Not bangs. She can't decide. She's like me. No one no bangs. When you don't have bangs, you want them. When you have bangs, you don't want them. Why do I do this? It's, yeah. yeah. It's a thing. But yeah, her it hair is, is so thing. cute. Little short, little. Mm-hmm. Yoked. Yeah. And short hair is great. It'll just grow back. Yeah. And her hair is so healthy. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to yeah. grow. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. I finally did get my nails done yesterday, and you got your toenails done. Yes. And They're so good from when done. I went. But yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, this is another quirky thing. And I don't think you're like this. I do not like my feet touched. Yeah. Are you okay with you having yeah, your feet touched? They're not I cannot anything. stand to have my feet. I think we talked about this before. The entire time I get a pedicure, I am apologizing. So sorry. Oops, so sorry. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> am I hurting you? No, I just don't. No. Okay. You just touched my big toe. You touched, my, you touched my foot. <laughs> oh my God, you touched my foot again. I cannot take it. Yeah. The only person that can touch my foot, feet, and it doesn't send me off the table is Margo. Oh. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because she's doing some sort of a acupressure and she's not really like rubbing. I don't know, yeah. but oh god. <laughs> Touching my feet. <laughs> it is torture the entire time. Uh, the en and I'm trying well, beauty to like, is pain. We've be always all said it. Zen and just try to, you know, Ignore be somewhere all. else, but I couldn't be. But this is an interesting thing. Um they had um where I was sitting you know, they have that big television that's on all the time. Uh -huh. And um, they had some channel, and I don't remember what it said, because I was going to look it up, because I don't know if it was on YouTube or what it was, but it was just this meditation music, but it was all scenery pictures. Oh, yeah. And so, but did you notice, did you watch the one where the guy was driving? Not the one that he was driving. I don't did know you watch the like Castles driving. one? Well, there's but I, one. Well, there was one that who's, someone's like on a GoPro, drives places and walks. Uh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. same guy. So he was driving, and so I'm watching it, trying to, like, you know, be somewhere else and pay, not pay attention. And so they're driving, 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 and I noticed after watching for 20 minutes, not one single piece of garbage along the side of the road. Mm. And no homeless people. And so then they went into, like, a, a metropolitan area, and there was nothing. And, I mean, nothing. Alongside, no garbage, wow. no cup, no anything. I thought, where are you? Mm -hmm. And so then I tried to watch, and I finally found something, a sign. And so I was able to Google it, and they were in Germany. Wow. And there's no litter in Germany, none. And then I then I was like watching for it, and I thought, man, there's going to be something on the side of the road. No litter, not Good for in, them, and and no homeless. Um, it's, I don't know what their plan is, how they take care of people who have nothing, but mm -hmm. they obviously have something they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, we need to figure that Good out. Good for them. Yeah. We need to figure that out. How yeah, can we, we help you? Right. So anyway. All right. So toes are done. Hair needs to be done. And we still need to try on our clothes. <laughs> Team minus your dad's got seven to days. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see that one. No. no. Get out. Because <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Oh, that looks nice, too. Oh, that looks good. Shut it looks up. Right. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you can... <laughs> not the little story in the front. Whatever. But, no. That looks nice. I like that one. Or, or right again? <laughs> <laughs> is that the same one? <laughs> no, this is a three-quarter sleeve, not a half sleeve. <laughs> this had a little lace on the bottom. The other one didn't. <laughs> Does not. <laughs> no. 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 No help at all. <laughs> Or else he'll kind of do this. He'll do that whole. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? What? He won't ever say. <laughs> Just, um, well, you can wear that. What? What What's do you mean wrong? I could? Yeah. Yeah. It's like he thinks he's going to get in trouble if he tells me the truth, which he probably would. <laughs> <laughs> but what I always say is when we're getting ready to go somewhere and he starts looking at your hair. I don't want What is in my hair? What? Why? Why are you looking at are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Why should I not be? What's wrong with it? I gotta go back in the bathroom. Ah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like we're normal though, right? Aren't we? I don't think so. I don't I don't think that all women are this thing. <laughs> Do you guys try and close in front of you? Oh, watch. You guys are going to tell us, my husband is so sweet. I wouldn't go shopping without him. Oh, I'm not taking my husband shopping with me. No. Oh. Never! Drop him off he somewhere else. He says the else. same thing every time. Why do you have to touch everything? <laughs> I know! I, I don't know why! 
why? You know when you touch it, your kids want to touch it? <laughs> go somewhere else! I know. <laughs> There's an ice cream store down. You go down there, I'll meet you yeah. when I'm done. Go look for shoes. I know. Don't you need shoes? Dad wanted to go shopping, said, well, should we go do some cruise shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Are there some things you need? Yeah, but... <laughs> Not with you. <laughs> you drop me off at one store and you go to another one. Right? Yeah. I know his cruise shopping. He'll end up with a you know screwdriver and a power tool. Yes, <laughs> like that no. is not a he, cruise toy. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Robert and I were talking about what to wear or whatever, and he's you know going to the Vatican and everything. I said you just have to have pants on. Um, I said we can get you black denim or we can go. I said we need to go get like a slacks probably, but I said you have to try them on in the store because I'm not going to buy you three pairs of slacks, bring them home, let you try them on. Oh, this one fits a little funny. Oh, my butt does a little tight on this one. No, we're just going to try it. I mean, we can just go to Walmart if you want or we can go like to Macy's or something. But I said you have to try them on in the store. You might say, oh, well, guy pants are really fine, and, you know, whatever the measurements are. I said, it's not the same in yeah. slack. They don't stretch the same as denim yeah. does. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, needs, I do. He so. needs a dr pair of dress pants. <laughs> he not does. Not just clean jeans. Not clean jeans. <laughs> no. I said, bring your clean jeans, and then you need a pair of yeah. slacks. You'll wear them again yeah. in your lifetime. But, yeah, that's why I don't Bless know. We have to go have try on pants in public, and, oh, my God, not sure he can do that. I don't know what the Dad big deal can't is. Either. I don't know what the big deal is. I do it all the time. Yeah. Take my wad of them, go in, try them on. Oh, no, don't like this one. Oh, it doesn't fit right. doesn't fit right. I don't right. know that I buy 10% of what I try on. Right. Right. You know. I it, agree with that. It looks so good on the hanger. <laughs> so good. <laughs> but it's white. What? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Where did I didn't see? know I had bulges there. <laughs> Right? Yeah. yeah. I think that's why he hates going shopping with me. Is it takes, I mean, it's not like a Well, you're so grumpy minute. the whole time, right? Yeah, I know. Aren't you grumpy when you're buying yeah. clothes? Yeah, and you're just like, then we gotta go have pasta and breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> that's right! I need comfort food to comfort me because nothing said. <laughs> oh, we're so bad. Yeah. Or you gotta stop by Auntie whatever's and get a soft pretzel and cheese. Yeah. Okay, I feel that better now. I feel better. <laughs> no, because you're shopping. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Because <laughs> after that, it's all fun after that. <laughs> so funny. That's right. And I'll be dieting today during lunch. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but by dinner, it'll be on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, anyway. All right. Well, I guess we should. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We'll uh, we'll see you guys tonight for boxing. Yeah. Is there anything else we should tell them? Oh, I don't even know. I don't the know. The quote behind us: We um, we're Brianna's starting to get all of um, well done now. I think with all of the Just, yeah t-shirt quotes, a all of the graduation tonight. quotes. Mm -hmm. Because the big thing that everybody gets around here for a graduation is, um, is t-shirt quilts. Mm -hmm. So, and this particular one is. Um, just a few t-shirts. You don't have to make it all t-shirts. You could easily just put in some squares, put in some four patches, mm -hmm. make your own thing, just add a couple, because you might want to make a t-shirt quilt that has all of their soccer shirts and basketball shirts and all of those things, which is super fun. Or you might want to just do something that has their their new alma mater, you know, where they're going yeah. to school if you have, um, just go um, buy a couple of t-shirts and make them something kind of cool. But just like the microwave bowl, holders, mm -hmm. which every college student needs like a dozen of those, and they will ask you for them constantly because they need more. But um, it's the same thing with t-shirt quilts yeah. because um, they'll um, ask I'm, you, oh, my friend, yeah. Tanya down the hall, she really likes you, really needs one. If yeah. I give you the t-shirts, you know, because everybody thinks making a quilt is going to cost you 20 bucks. Right. <laughs> In an hour. And it's fine, yeah. <laughs> 
But t-shirt quilts are pretty fun. I mean, the trick is you cut out your design on your t-shirt. I just cut the neck, cut the arms, mm -hmm. and then cut the hem out. And then um, I sometimes will either, either know that I want all of my blocks to be 12 and a half inches square or whatever, or sometimes I'm okay with doing the whole puzzle piece in, depending on what we're doing or what t-shirts we're working with or how big those t-shirts actually are. Um, but then I use the Pellon fusible interfacing. I like the 911F. 911 FF that's what I like the best um, and I put the I fuse that to the entire back of the face of the t-shirt I want to use and then I will trim that down so I know from yeah. cut to cut I am fused and what that yeah. does is it creates that whole block to not be stretchy because mm -hmm. that knit that cotton with a little bit of elastic it's gonna stretch and do naughty things when you're trying to piece it into this beautiful quilt block mm -hmm. so I like to put that interfacing on it and then treat it just like a quilt block and I feel pretty certain that we have a YouTube video on t-shirt so. quilt blocks. I'm sure that we do. Because um, uh, the only other tips you want to know is, of course, don't let your iron touch this. It will melt it. Yeah. Um, press from the back. Press from the back. Um, and then, uh, again, yeah, if you're just, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to have a pattern. No. Just make some blocks and intersperse them with other things with mm -hmm. whatever those colors are. And yeah. you'll be good to go, so... All right. All right. I guess uh, I don't know what else we're supposed to tell you, but we'll remember <laughs> and we'll tell you tonight at Box Open. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.